Is BMW reliable? It just happened. Someone in the household received a driver license and got a very first car. Yes, the BMW. This is against my intuition. This beautiful 2017 BMW X3 has a story to tell. We recently purchased this vehicle at 82,000 miles. And I would like to share the full story in a separate video. But today, uh, our task is very simple. We are going to change the engine oil and filter for this vehicle. Let's get started. The very first time this vehicle in the professor's garage. There's a latch there to open the hood. Now it's important to know what oil you should change. On the cap it doesn't say that, but on the hood it says 0W20 for this engine. And we are going to stick with that for today. 0W20 I got from Costco. It's on sale. And this is also the filter for this engine. The vehicle still says I have 4,000 miles to go before the next oil change. But I'm not going to take the chance. I'm going to follow 5,000 miles oil change interval. One special tool for this oil change is this oil filter wrench. Uh, specifically for this engine design. So you can either fit a 3 8 extension directly on top or as I prefer put a 24 millimeter uh, socket and then an extension. This works better uh, as it protects the wrench. So use a breaker bar or a ratchet to take this uh, off. Now you see there is still oil in here. If you pull this out, you are going to make a mess. So for now, I'm going to just leave it here, the H1, and go under the car to take off the drain plug, the oil drain plug, and then come back here uh, to take care of the filter. So let's get under the car. In the middle, if you look up, um, supposedly there should be a cover uh, in the hole here. But uh, obviously someone has visited here and took it off without putting it back. So this is where you drain the oil. Let's take a look and you will see a plug. And it should be a 17 millimeter drain plug. So put a drain pan under it. Make sure your drain pan is big enough. So now with the 17 millimeter socket, an extension and a breaker bar or ratchet. Ooh. I think it's loose. Make sure your catch pan is there to catch the fluid. Yeah, this oil is really dark. I don't think you should go any longer with this oil change. I'm going to stick with the 5,000 miles interval. We'll let it join and then we'll go back to take care of the oil filter. Every time you take off the drain plug, replace the crush washer. And these washers, they are very cheap. so replace them. I love the space that you have to work on a four-cylinder engine. See, lots of space. Let's take a look at the oil filter. I would like to put uh, some rack or tower nearby just in case it drips oil and then see if we can take it out. Yeah, it's okay now to take it out. Now let's replace the oil filter. So unplug. Uh, before you proceed, of course, it's always a great idea to compare filters to see if they match. Okay, so they are the same. There are two O-rings on the filter cap. Uh, Here is one, and then there is a smaller one at the top. So make sure to replace them. So to replace the bigger one, uh, you can either use a plastic pick like this. Do not use anything metal, or press the O-ring on both sides. You should be able to. Uh, easily remove it. Very simple. Uh, for the one at the top, it's a little bit trickier. Okay, it's off. When you put on the new O-ring, uh, dip some engine oil to lubricate the O-ring before you put it on. Okay. The same with the large O-ring, uh, lubricate with the engine oil. On. Make sure it goes into the groove to where it's supposed to be. I'll put on the filter. 
it clicks. Okay, you have to hear the sound to make sure it's well seated. Uh, the filter also comes with uh, a washer, so you can use it. You don't have to buy additional washers. Now under the car again, it's done joining. Let's put the joint plug back with the new washer. Okay, and then torque it to 25 newton meter or 18 foot pounds. Great. I'll back on top. Now this is the personal preference. I would like to prime the filter, but because this goes into a uh, uh, upside down direction, so I cannot really prime the filter. What I'm going to do is in the housing, in the filter housing, I'm going to pour some oil. Let it go down a little bit. And as soon as I feel I can put the filter back on, I'm going to uh, start. Okay. So this way, <laughs> at least the filter is submerged a bit with the oil before you start the engine. It actually helps to get the oil much faster to the engine uh, if you prime the filter. And torque this also to 25 newton meters or 18 foot pounds. Great! If your wrench gets stuck on the cap, just uh, with the extension, try to wipe it a little bit and it should come off. I just noticed on the owner's manual, it says the oil can be SAE 0W30 or 0W20. I'm going to go for 0W30 next time for extra protection of the engine, but we are good with 0W20. Now this engine, X-Drive 20AI, takes a bit over 5 quarts of oil. Uh, with an oil filter change. So for now, I'm going to put five quarts or five bottles in, check the level, and then see if I need more. Second quart, third, fourth, now the fifth. Okay, five quarts in, enough for the minimum requirement. We're going to start the engine. Of course, make sure no leaking, and then we are going to measure the oil engine oil level. See, there's no dipstick. Good job, BMW. In order to measure the oil level, you have to use the sensor and uh, we have to go, go inside the car to do it. And then let's go under the vehicle to make sure there's no leak, especially from the oil drain plug. All dry on the drain plug, filter, all look good. With the vehicle on the level ground, let's measure the engine oil level. Measurement only possible after longer drive with engine turned on. Good job, BMW. Is it really necessary? Okay, I give in. I'm going to drive 30 minutes. Come back for the oil level measurement. This oil change is more costly on the BMW. Now let's try to measure engine oil level again. Hopefully it lets us do. It's working. Okay, it looks good. It's between max and min, and much closer to max. So we are good. Now reset oil. Press and hold it. Okay, it's resetting. So reset successful, we're good to go. This is the darkest, the worst oil I have ever seen. New engine oil. This is the old oil. This is unbelievably dark. Just look at this. Without even doing an oil analysis, how can you justify a 10,000 mile or even 16,000 mile oil change? It's going to ruin your car for sure. It's all done for today. And there's more to come on how to maintain a BMW and make it reliable. I hope you found this video to be helpful and informative. Consider giving it a like and subscribing to Professor's Garage. Stay tuned for more car care and repair contents. If a professor can do it, you can do it. Until next time, may the Lord bless you and grant you peace. Ping an.